Hey guys, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills. And in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a peeling sticker effect all in Photoshop. So I hope you're looking forward to it. I can't wait to get started. Let's jump into it. Rightio, so we're now in Photoshop and I've created a new document which is a thousand pixels wide and a thousand pixels high and I've also copy and pasted this little monster dude from Illustrator straight into Photoshop as a vector smart object. Now I didn't design this, it's from a stock site, but it's pretty cute, pretty cool and that's what I'm going to use for this tutorial but hopefully you'll have your image as well, anything that you like that you'd like to turn into a sticker. Something else I've also got here I'll just show you is a paper texture. You can get this anywhere online, Google Images, wherever you like, just get some kind of texture. This is an optional thing to add at the end. So I'm just going to leave this switched off for now. So the first thing I'm going to do is just double click on the Vector Smart Object layer and give this the name Monster. And then right click, go to Blending Options and just check Stroke. Now a lot of stickers that you'll see have this kind of white border around the edge. So you can adjust this depending on what you're going for. I think I'll stick with 21 and click OK. And then just right click, select duplicate layer. And we'll just type monster back. And then I'm going to drag this layer underneath. And if I just switch off the main monster layer, this monster back layer, I need to be completely white. So let's right click, go to blending options and just check color overlay and make sure that white is selected from the color picker and just click OK a couple of times to come out. And next we're going to right click this, convert to a smart object and then right click again and select rasterize. So effectively we're left with a completely white version of this layer here. And I've also noticed there's this little gap here as well which you probably wouldn't get on a sticker so I am just going to fill that one in manually. So if you do see any weird gaps or anything that looks a bit out of the ordinary, just fill that in as you go. So let's just turn back on our monster layer now. And if I select the monster layer, this is the cool bit. So we go to edit, transform, and well, we need to use the warp feature here, but you can see it's grayed out. So what we need to do is just right click our monster layer and select convert to smart object. Now we can go back to edit, down to transform and select warp and this is a whole video in itself you can warp this in 50,000 different ways we're going to be just kind of curling the edge up here so this is how we're going to create that sticker effect so we're going to grab the bottom right anchor point here and if you want to curl this up from a different point from the bottom left that's totally fine as well and I'm going to go up and to the left. I'm not going to skew it because it will distort the sticker peel effect, but I'm going to keep it going in a 45 degree angle. So I'm going to try and align it to these points on this grid here, just so I know it's all lined up. And then you can press return or click the tick at the top here to confirm that change. So we've gone from this to this. And I'm just going to bring the opacity down on the monster back layer just so I can see where that starts and begins and where the monster layer starts and begins as well. Just makes it a little bit easier rather than having white everywhere. Okay, so something else I've just noticed is if I zoom in here, you can see I've got this little bit around here. I don't necessarily want that. So I can just grab the eraser tool and just remove that there and just check any edges. So you can see there's a couple little bits just around the edge, so just cleaning up all of those edges because if you leave some of these in when you create the stick appeal effect it will look a bit strange if it's coming off of these bits as well but don't worry about this too much now if you don't want to you can get to the end of the tutorial and then go back and just fix these when you can see where they are okay so next we're going to select our monster layer and create a new layer from the bottom of the layers panel and I'm going to call this shadows and just select black from the color picker, grab the brush tool and just pick Photoshop's soft round pressure opacity brush. You can adjust the size here. We want that hardness set at 0% so we have a nice soft brush and you can quickly and easily adjust the size of your brush using the left and right square brackets on your keyboard. Now at the moment we can just brush anywhere which is fine. 
However, if we right click on our shadows layer and select create clipping mask, anything we now add to this will be clipped to the layer below. You can see it's underlined and we have this arrow pointing down. So now anything I paint on the shadows layer will stay within the monster layer. So that's great. And what we can do is using that soft feathered brush, just left click and just do something like this. Now, if you don't get it right first time, that's totally fine. Just go to edit and you've got undo and step backwards here. So you might need to do this a few times until you get it right. Something that you're happy with. There we go. So I'll go with this for now. Looks fine, I guess. And what I'm going to do is then right click on this layer and go to blending options. And if I just move this out of the way, you can see down the bottom we have the blend if section. So if I click and hold and drag this, you can see, well, it looks uh, pretty awful. However, if I hold down the Alt key on the keyboard and click on the left half of this slider, I can actually separate it and watch as I move. So you can see it's gone from being really, really dark like this through to retaining a lot of that shadow and we get the white of the sticker coming through as well. So if I just move this somewhere where you can see and just turn this on and off, we would have gone from that to that. So the shadow is only being applied to the area underneath this curl. Now, of course, we've got this area here, which is dark and it shows the sticker and we don't really want that because you wouldn't see that the underside of the sticker would be white. So we'll create another new layer. And again, just right click, select create clipping mask. And I'm just going to call this underside and just grab white from the color picker and again anything we we paint on this layer is going to stay clipped within our monster you can see these two layers are stacking up as clipping masks so I'm just going to fill this in with white because of course this is the underside of the sticker curling up and you wouldn't see the monster on the underside of the sticker and I'm going to create one last layer here and again right click create clipping mask and I'm going to call this well, I'll call this gradient and what I'm going to do is again just grab the brush tool with a black color and we're going to do that same technique that we did before something like this ah oh, got it in one so that might take a few goes to get right I'm, I'm pretty pleased with myself as you can probably tell there and that just gives the curl of the underside of the sticker just a little bit of a gradient. So rather than it just be completely flat, you can see there would be more of a shadow along this edge because it is closer and uh, closer to the back of the sticker, the underside. And this area here is obviously a lot lighter because it's more curled up. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so we've finished with that side. Now we need to select the monster back layer and do the same thing. So create a new layer We'll call this shadows, right click, select create clipping mask, use our soft round pressure opacity brush with black. Make sure you've got a nice big feathered brush and we'll do the same again. Now you can see I've done that in the wrong spot, but actually that is how the clipping mask works. So we want to do it like this and it might take a few goes to get right. So again, we're just creating that graduation from here to here. So we have the shadow where the sticker is just being peeled and then as you go out towards this side, there is a lot less of a shadow. Now you can keep redoing these shadows as much as you like and you've got the control to adjust the opacity if you really want to. So I could go into the gradient here and I could make this a little bit less pronounced if I wanted to or I could just duplicate the layer, turn it into a clipping mask and actually make it more pronounced so it's entirely up to you and what you're going for but there we go for the most part we've created our sticker effect now and if i just select the monster back layer you can see now i can drop the opacity all the way down so that is our sticker without any back to it and then i can adjust this i could bring this all the way up i think i'll probably bring mine to around 70 percent just so it looks like it has a surface that it is being peeled off and bringing it all the way back to the beginning of the tutorial, I mentioned a texture. We'll switch this on now. 
depending on the texture that you're working with, just experiment with some of the blending modes. You've got multiply, overlay and soft light are usually pretty good ones to go to. So if I go to overlay, you can see there, we get a lot of that texture blending through onto the background, whether it's a paper background and the sticker itself. And I could drop that down so it's a bit less pronounced. So we could go for something like 60%. And there we go, that wraps up the end of this tutorial and we are done. And there we go, that's how to create a peeling sticker effect all in Photoshop. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please let me know down below along with any questions or comments. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.